Welcome, everybody. Uh, it's the healthiest day of the week. It's Tuesday. It's 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, for those that are joining us, we have uh, some really exciting stuff. Uh, one, we just finished our six-week health games. So I want to congratulate you guys all on consistency, habits you guys move forward, um, all of that um, in between. You guys did a lot of great things. We hit on a lot of great topics. And I want to congratulate all those people that tuned in and we're really consistent on being on this because uh, on these calls because it's it's plugging in and learning and it's not about what you do for a short period of time it's what you do over time and with the habits that you instill that really make the difference so tonight is just basically a congrats uh, a review of the last six weeks are you further along than where you were started six weeks ago and that isn't all areas of health mind you you know healthy mind healthy body uh, healthy finances relationships um, habits um, weight, uh, muscle definition, um, hangry was a topic. So if you're hangry less now, cause you're keeping mindfulness going with uh, your eating habits, water intake, all of the above, you know, what are you excited that you move forward? You know, that's another quick tip real quick. Most people are so quick to focus on what they need to work on and what they're not doing well. And they don't read their own press on what they've been improving over the last little bit here. So Tonight is a big congrats, whether you just joined in for the health games, whether you're part of our program, whether this is your first call, whether you've been a resident with us for four, five, six years getting healthy, we want to say we're so glad that you're here and congrats. So tonight I have a nice treat for you. Uh, one of the other cool things about our community is we have people that have not only gotten healthy, but they're paying it forward to other people. That's the whole system in what we're doing here. And Lori Def uh, uh, Dufresne has a great topic of health tonight that she's going to be sharing with you. So I want you guys to all give it up for Lori as she shares a really awesome topic. That's one of my favorite topics that you're going to be covering. So Lori, are you there? I am. Thank you for having me, Brad. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to do a share screen here, guys. Okay. So one of my very favorite topics is healthy mind because sometimes we get on this journey and we think it's a struggle or we think that we're just not getting as far, not moving as fast as we want to. Um, but you know what? If you've got a healthy mind, it doesn't even matter how fast you're going. Um, but it just helps you to really um, take some time to get yourself set up for success in your on your health journey. So this was a really big mindset change for me because I've done a million diets under the sun and I wanted this time to be different and I knew that the one thing that was different this time around is that I was more on the healthy mind than anything else. So <laughs> moving forward. So clarity. Clarity is a really big one. So ask yourself what do you want on your health journey? And unless you can really see it clearly, like you got to take all that fog off of the window and look through it, we've got to put all of our past experiences behind us and we need to focus on what do I want this time around? How is this health journey of ours going to be different from anything else that we've done in the past? So we kind of have to like erase all of the bad um, feelings that we had towards losing weight in the past and towards exercise and we're just going to get clarity on what we want to create. How do we want to feel? Um, the best thing that I find to do this is to go find an old picture of yourself when you felt really, really good about yourself. Go find Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find who it is. <laughs> um, so go find an old picture of yourself. Like, go have some fun and look through some photo albums and pick out something that just you felt amazing when you looked at that picture because sometimes we have a hard time trying to define our why and get our clarity on what we're looking to achieve but when you see a picture like you get this downpour of emotion of oh my gosh I love that dress or I wish I could fit into that again or I felt so beautiful or I felt like I had so much energy it really defines your clarity for you and it takes a lot of the guesswork out. So take some time to do that when you're trying to, um, you know, move forward on your health goals as well. So fear, and I love this, erase the fear. We have got to eliminate all past experiences that we've had in order to move forward. So many times we come, I know I did, I was the most number one skeptic with getting started on this program because I thought, why would this time be different? I mean, I've, I've failed at everything I've ever done before. Um, so one thing I had to do was erase all of my past experiences and I had to just really 
tell myself, this time's going to be different. If I'm going to succeed this time, it has to be different. And I didn't, I had to just eliminate everything that's ever happened before. Um, focus on what you want to create. Okay, so we're going to talk about this. This is my very favorite thing. And if any of my coaches or clients are on right now, they're going to laugh because I pull this one out all the time. But what do you see here? And many of you will probably say, well, a black dot. Okay, well, that is your focus. So whatever you are focusing on is all you are going to see. So in the case of my past experiences, if I looked at this health journey and said, okay, all I'm focusing on is that I've always failed in the past, well, then guess what? More than likely, I'm going to fail again. Now, if I'm focusing on the black dot as signifying health and what I want to create, then I'm going to be looking straight at that. That is my bullet point right there. And I'm going to be saying, this is what I want. It's that picture. Picture that wonderful picture that you found of your past when you felt really great about yourself. Let that be your primary focus. And that's all that you're seeing is right there. So all of the negative things that have happened in the past, all of that other stuff is like not even, it's going to be floating around in that white space and you're not even seeing that it's even there anymore because all you're focusing is the energy, the attitude that you want to feel about yourself, the confidence. So that's a great exercise that I really love. Always ask yourself, what am I focusing on right now? And the next thing too is um, where are you on this line of negativity versus positivity in your attitude? I like to say that positivity breeds positivity. So if you're having a positive attitude, you're always going to have a negative result. So going into this journey saying, of course, it's going to be different. I, I'm ready for it this time around. I'm done with the old past experiences. I'm ready to take this on. I'm going to learn to embrace exercise. I'm going to get out there and have fun. I'm going to have a great day today. And every morning, I mean, it's great to set big goals for yourself, but I like to suggest setting realistic goals that are going to happen every day. When you wake up in the morning with a positive attitude, allow yourself to say, you know, what do I want today to look like? Am I going to take on my challenges and am I going to overcome them and focus on health today? Or am I going to wake up in the morning feeling tired and sluggish and thinking, well, gosh, I've got a party to go to. I've got a luncheon. I'm going to go out with uh, friends for drinks afterwards. This day's not going to succeed. So it's really setting yourself up for success. So if you want to have a positive result, go into it with a positive attitude. And what I love is our stop challenge choose. So set yourself up for success in everything that you do. Now, I love stop challenge choose because it's just all about making conscious choices. That's what we're starting to do. This is the most important, I think, habit that we can take on with our health journey is just making conscious choices. We have to, I know for myself, speaking for myself in the past, I would just, if I saw something, I just wanted to eat it. So I didn't even think about it. There was no conscious choice. I just saw food and I ate it. So now three years, almost three years into my health journey, I, every day is a conscious choice. And so I do stop. I challenge myself and I ask myself, is this moving towards my goals or away from my goals? And then I get to make that choice. And it's a choice of freedom. So you never have to feel like you're depriving yourself of anything if you actually stop to make the conscious choice and ask yourself if it's moving you forward or not. Um, and I love that when you surround yourself with a community of people who are successful and moving towards their, their goals, that you're also going to be successful. So I love this saying, surround yourself with people that reflect who you want to be and how you want to feel. Energies are contagious. And it's very true. Think about who you surround yourself with. And are they people that are moving forward towards health? Or are they people that are telling you, oh, you look great. You look fantastic. One drink's not going to kill you. Or, or, you know, just think, be very conscious about who you're spending your time with. Your health journey is so important. And um, the more you surround yourself with successful people, these, these huddles, our challenge groups, everything is so fantastic that you're even here tonight. Um, and I think that's all I've got for you there, Brad. <laughs> Let me stop share. Okay. So we are going to have a few guest speakers that are going to share with us tonight about how they have made some great choices um, and learned how to refocus. So I'm going to start with Summer. Are you there, Summer? Can you unmute yourself? Okay, perfect. Yeah. So Summer, do you mind sharing a little bit about your journey and how you've kind of helped yourself get refocused again? Um, yeah. Um, 
Yes. How, which which time? <laughs> <laughs> well, she had it. Go ahead. Just share just a couple minutes on like where you were and yeah. Okay. Um, so, so I, the what um, when you asked me to share um, earlier today, I was trying to think of like you know the most amazing story. So, <laughs> so um, it could be amazing, but um, but I guess um, really what keeps popping in my head is that um. I finally realized that like I had a choice. I think that growing up, I um, didn't have a lot of choices. It was, um, you're gonna wear your coat. Well, I don't wanna wear my coat, but you're gonna wear it anyways. Okay, fine, but I'm not gonna zip it up. You're gonna wear your coat and zip it up. Okay, and and so like, I didn't have a lot of choices in life and that's just how I was raised. It was um, listen, obey, listen, obey. And um, so I did not, um, I didn't have a lot of choices. So now as an adult, like I don't, I get to choose. And so, um, am I going to choose the same thing that I've always done that's gotten me to, you know, a hundred and plus pounds overweight, or, um, am I going to choose something different? So I chose to, to start this program and, um, and I have actually, um, done Metafest before, not take shape for life. Um, but I didn't have the support, um, before. So, um, so I, you know, I cheated and, you know, I lost, weight because I was, um, you know, on a lower caloric diet, but I was celebrating, you know, 0.2 pounds where I didn't really understand that I could be in fat burn and I could actually be like losing lots more. And so, um, so anyways, I kind of did it my own way the first, um, probably two or three weeks. Um, and I just kept hitting a, a wall, hitting a wall. I didn't feel good. Um, but I finally got into fat burn. So that was, um, that was really good. And, um, I, I began to realize the difference that it feels in fat burn versus, um, versus not in fat burn. So, um, the, those kind of realizations, um, came my way, but, um, but more recently, um, I'm realizing that, um, that it, it's a very simple plan, but it's not easy to, um, to replace all those habits that I have always had my whole life, you know, comforting myself with food or, um, enjoying food with friends or, um, celebrating weight loss <laughs> by treating myself with food and it it's hard to um replace those habits it's um it's a very simple plan very straightforward but it's hard to um it's hard to replace those habits and so um so now i get to choose again um you know it's it's hard to like i said um not celebrate with friends at every holiday or every whatever day that ends with a Y, um, or, um, it's hard to not comfort myself with food. Um, because that's just what I've always done. Those things are hard. Um, however, it's hard for me to not be able to sit on the floor with my baby and not have energy to keep up with my family. It's hard for me to be on vacation, in Colorado around beautiful, beautiful scenery and not be able to hike with my husband, like we've always done. Um, those things are hard. It's, it's hard for me to, um, to look at pictures of myself that, that I've gotten, you know, so far, I don't, I don't even recognize myself sometimes. Um, and so those things are hard, um, for me. So, so, so they're, they're hard things, but I, I want to choose, um, the, the first hard things like, um, cuffing through, um, everyone eating and me just going, all right, cool. I'm, you know, going to have my chew, chewy bar, or, you know, I'm going to have my crunch bar or, um, um, it's, I want to choose that hard instead of the alternative that I've always chose. So, um, so those are, I don't know, that's, 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 awesome. that's what I've done so far. <laughs> that's awesome. So you've come so far and now you're focusing on the wonderful things that you're creating in your life and having that time with your family and doing the things that you want to do. And so that's one thing that I've really seen in transform, seeing your transformation is from where you were when you got started. And now our calls, our celebration calls are just rejoicing and excited. And, and I love seeing that energy shift in you because you are focusing now on, on what's most important to you. So good job. Thank you so much for sharing. That's awesome. Um, is Suzanne on the line? Do you want to introduce your guest? Hi, I'm here, Lori. Awesome. Uh, Yes, uh, our next guest is a very good friend of mine. Her name is Courtney Allington, and uh, she's been on plan for a couple of months now, 
and she's hit a couple of uh, goals, and her last goal was she hit 40 pounds. Um, this journey has been really good for her. She's had a couple of ins and outs, and um, she really got what we call the aha moment. Um, she said that she was kind of reading over Dr. Anderson's Habits, wonderful Habits of Health book, and uh, she just had a nice aha moment, and she's gotten herself a nice, healthy mind, and I want her to kind of come on and share some of that with us. Courtney, are you there? Are you able to unmute? I am. Hi, everyone. I um, actually I had two kind of aha moments, but um, I like summer, you know, was always struggling and in and out. And um, even when I started, my mentality was I seen Suzanne, I seen the weight she lost, and I wanted to do that. So I was going to be on this diet. And um, I think, you know, that's how I looked at it in the beginning. So when we would do our Zoom calls, Lori caught me one night. I said something about, oh, I can't, you know, I, could, I told my friends I couldn't have that. And she said, um, you need to change your wording right there. She said, that's part of the problem. You know, it's not that you, you can have it. You can have it anytime you want. You need to choose not to have it and change that wording to I choose not to have it. And that little, that little tiny seed that she planted, I started doing that and I started believing it. I no longer felt deprived. I no longer felt, you know, that I can't have it because I knew I could. If I chose to, I, I would. And sometimes, unfortunately, I did. Um, but the thing that, that I do different now after this program is the time, the couple times that I've been in and out is I don't wait until the next day because I've already ruined it for that day or the next week because I might as well eat what I want the rest of the week because I've already ruined it. I start the very next meal. You know, I mean, you're going you're gonna to have those setbacks sometimes and it is how you think of it and how you get your mind back into the program but anyway I was um my first aha moment is I was sick I was home with strep throat horrible horrible sore throat couldn't eat couldn't swallow couldn't hardly drink water but I knew just from what I had been learning and what I'd read in the book that it was no longer food like I wasn't eating because I was home all day and I wasn't eating because I was bored but I knew that I had to eat to fuel my body that to be healthy, I had to get up and eat something. And as I was doing that, like walking to the kitchen, not hungry, not wanting to eat, I was just like, oh my goodness, what is this? Like I'm eating for fuel. Who's ever, whoever thought I would say something like that? So that was like my first aha moment. I think I called Suzanne. I was like, I get it. Like I'm starting to get it. Um, and then my, the big aha moment, which this one has truly changed everything for me is when I was reading Dr. Ace book again. Um, it's in chapter three of those of you that haven't read it yet. Chapter three is amazing, but he talks about one point in there that, um, um, you know, the, the way that we look at the food also, if anybody knows me, um, Suzanne can attest to this, that I'm kind of competitive. Um, and if you tell me I can't do something, I'm going to do it. Um, so when, when I was looking at, at food and like, I can't, I can't eat that donut and I can't eat those chips. It made me want to do it that much more. And in the book, you know, he's talked about changing it to instead of, I can't have that, like instead of being problem focused with it, I can't eat that because I'm fat and I have to lose weight. I changed my mind. Like I like that. I, you know, I seen Suzanne, I seen Lori, I seen where they were, I seen where they were um, physically and mentally. And I wanted that. And so I changed my mind and put a goal. I'm like, that's what I want. I want to be healthy physically. I want to be healthy, men healthy mentally. I want to be healthy financially. That's what I want. So instead of thinking I'm not going to eat or I can't eat that donut because I'm fat and I have a problem to fix, I now think of it as I'm choosing not to eat that donut because I want to be healthy. So my choice, I am overcoming that food. I'm overcoming what I've always told myself, you know, that I'm the fat, ugly girl, so I might as well eat that donut because it's not going to make a difference if I do or don't. Now I know I'm beautiful inside, outside, and all the way around. And I have that choice to choose that I am more powerful than that donut or that bag of chips. And it's, it, like I said, has changed every aspect of my life, mentally, emotionally, physically, um, with my husband, with you know, my spiritualness, I mean, everything. So I'm just so, so thankful for this program and the fact that I have a choice and that it is in my head. So 
thank you all for being the support that I need because you, everybody on this call, if I met you or not, is what keeps me going every day and in being accountable. So thank you. Wow. <laughs> thank you, Courtney. You are so inspiring. You and Summer, honestly, I think each and every one of us can take something from what both of you said and um, so proud like you guys are true testimonies of integrating yourself into everything that Take Shape for Life has to offer and um, and it's paying off and it's showing and you're just awesome. Keep it up ladies. Thank you so much. Brent? Yeah, I don't really know what to say after that. That was probably, I love this topic. I put, I was, that was the first comment in here today. I love this topic because it really comes down to this has been like the most abundantly important topic I've ever really accomplished or have put into practice in my life. I'm not just talking about health. I'm talking about everything. My relationships, my friendships, my walk with God, my health, my how I raise my son and clarity and focus on the things you want. Because I love it because you can catch the essence of what Courtney's talking about is when you start to focus on what you want. It's so much more fun to focus on what you want and living a life on purpose rather than say, I can't do that because of this. It is way more fun and that's the way to live. So I, I think that we pretty much got it tonight. We're, you know, kind of hit our, our 20 minute mark, but I thought as we kind of close out, would anyone want to just kind of share just a couple quick thoughts on this topic? Because I know that this has probably, re probably affected a lot of people in, in their different walks of their journey. So anyone that want to share as we kind of wrap up this call, just some things that have been powerful you on this topic for you guys? Hey Brad, can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you, and it looks like we're wearing the same shirt. So keep going. We we timed it well. <laughs> I just I just want to echo again. That was awesome, and those stories are phenomenal. You guys are just you're right. Uh, what what you said, Courtney? That um, I'll just say this: there is so much joy and clarity. Like there's so much happiness and so much fun, so much joy in having clarity, and all these tools, all this support. This community, uh, the program, Dr. Ace Habits, everything seems to point us towards that clarity, finding that clarity for ourselves. And I can, I'm speaking via um, my own experience. And, and having a health coach, it happens to be we're matching today, we're twinners, but uh, no, but just having him to, to help me find that clarity and having a, a a community to do that has been such a, an important part of my life. Just like Brad said, it's affected more than just my physical health and even my mental health, my spiritual health, my emotional health, my relationships and social health. It's, it's affected every part of my life. And so I'm just, I'm grateful that I love it. It's fun. I love it, Dan. That is awesome. Let's do uh, one more as we wrap up here. Cause I just, I think the stories are the most powerful and we learn from, more from each other than we do from one just general topic. So anyone else want to share real quick? Oh, go for it. Yeah. Or, uh, Amber. Yeah. Go ahead and unmute yourself. You know how to do it. Sure. Um, yeah, actually this is one of the first times I've been able to tune in to the huddles. So I'm just like super excited to be here. This was very inspiring to hear. Um, and I agree. I've been part of take shape for life for three and a half years now. And, um, what it's done to our life as far as allowing us to dream and just open up opportunities. Um, just in my own health journey, um, I guess I was just going to share this because tonight um, as I was making dinner, I was just reminded again three and a half years later how simple these tools have made my life. Um, I was a person that really didn't, ha I was going to work out in the gym all the time and didn't understand the nutrition piece. Um, and it just has really made it so much more simple to prepare and know what to make for my children and for my family. Um, I guess the simplicity it's brought to my life, you know, also, I guess, brings clarity, um, allows me to focus on what I want, what I want to create. And so um, the tools are just really invaluable and the simplicity that's allowed me to bring to my family so that we can focus on what we're creating and what we want most. And I just thought of that when I knew exactly how to prepare dinner tonight to know like protein, vegetables, healthy fats, you know, like there's so many messages out there and there's so much tools that I've gathered. Like truly it was, it just makes my life so much easier. And I know that I'm, you know, doing the best and bringing the best for my family and I'm forever grateful for it, honestly. So congratulations to all the success stories tonight. This was awesome. Yeah, and thanks for capping us off, Amber. I love it, guys. This is a great topic. So as we always close out is, you know, let's think about that this week. You know, what 
are we wanting to get more clarity on in all areas of your health? Because one affects the other. Again, my favorite quote I've heard as far this year is, I knew someone that lost 50 pounds and they said, yeah, 50 pounds was great. You know, I feel amazing. It feels great to lose that weight and go hiking and play with my kids and do all those things. But I had no idea weight was holding back all different areas of my life to a certain degree. I just thought it was just weight. So the clarity that we can, that we can have just play around this week. What do you want to have more of in your life? And if you can think it, you can start to create it. And then it becomes fun rather than, Oh, I need to do this because I can't have that. Or I can't have that. You get to be the ultimate person uh, making your world around what matters most. Dr. A always says, as I think what we'll end it up here is figure out what's most important to you in your life. And what do you want to do to create more of that? And then revolve all of your energy and effort around creating that in your life. So let's do that this week, play around with it, have some fun. And if anyone wants to share next week and on any of this, I welcome it. And I look forward to it. So happy Tuesday, everybody healthiest day of the week. You guys are doing awesome. Congrats for everyone that did the health games and actually everyone stay tuned. We are cooking up something fun for thriving through the holidays. Anyone interested in thriving through the holidays? You guys want to join a little challenge? Okay. All right. You guys are the first to hear about it. So stay tuned. Maybe something like around like the second of November. I don't know. I'm just throwing out dates right now. So we'll see. Um, but, uh, stay tuned, stay healthy and I'll see you guys next week. Talk to you guys later.